Respect to all my supporters who's already bought the book. It means a lot. So boom. Has it even been 24 hours yet since my promoted the book? You've already got a few sales, you know. You reap the fruits of your labour. Hard work always pays off. And Rome was not built in a day. Imagine. A man's been grinding on YouTube for three years next month, yeah? Sorry, November next month. A man's been grinding on YouTube for three years. Most people are thinking, yeah, my man's got a few thousand subscribers. It's almost been three years. My man's only got 658 subscribers, bro. You know what? Man don't give up that easily, you know? You see certain man, they will start a YouTube channel and after, what, two, three months, if they ain't got 2,000, 3,000 subscribers, they'll be off. But if I had that mentality, I wouldn't get no book sales. You see, a man started this whole YouTube thing because I always wanted to write a book from day. So a man started this YouTube thing so that I could build up a following so that there are people available to buy my book. Because imagine... Imagine if none of you lot watching this right now didn't know who I was. And some random guy called Jelani Knights popped up with this book called Conquering Adversity. Who's going to buy the book? But you lot have been watching me for a year, two years, almost three years, maybe three months or whatever, isn't it? Some of you lot watching this again. Yeah, man want to know the full story. You know? Cause man talk a lot on YouTube and that, but there's a lot in the book that man ain't even spoken about, innit? So, imagine if I didn't grind for three years and that. Man would not be in this position to be selling no books. Man wouldn't have no following and that. You know, I actually applied to go on The Apprentice. You know The Apprentice, Sean. Man didn't get far with that. But one of the reasons why I wanted to go on The Apprentice was so that I could get, you know, like uh, exposure and that. So that people know who I am so that I can sell a book. Because imagine someone who's been on The Apprentice, whether they made it through and they won or they got kicked out after two, three weeks or whatever, yeah. People would know them. They would have a little social media presence. They could write a book and sell it. And one of the girls actually went on to do that. So, yeah, man, I always wanted to, to write a book and that. And even shit like, imagine I made a video and I said something and it went viral and that. Imagine man started getting all these subscribers and that coming to my YouTube channel. Now I have a product to sell. Imagine if I went viral and I had no book to sell. People would just be watching, yeah, 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 subscribe and that, but I ain't really gonna make no money off of, you know, this opportunity and that. So, yeah, it's always important to grind, man, and just stick things up. See, that's the problem with a lot of people. They have a quick buck mentality. They have short-term thinking. They can't see things through to the end. So literally, like, man's haps out here, innit? Yeah, like, actually, I made it, like, man got to the finish line, innit? Yeah. Well, to be fair, it's actually the beginning. Like my Taekwondo instructor said, when I got my black belt after training for seven years, she said to me, this is the beginning, you know? So yeah, this book thing is the beginning. Basically, man sent off my book to one girl that works in the BBC. And time ago, like imagine, I met this girl like chatting to her on one of them dating apps, in it, that Tinder thing, innit? Yeah. And this is when I first started this YouTube channel almost three years ago, and I said to her, yeah, I'm starting to write a book or whatever, and it boom. She said, yeah, once your book is out, then this is my email address. You can send me the book or whatever, and yeah. That was almost three years ago. Man sent her the book now. So hopefully today, Monday the 25th, she's in work to collect it. Because I emailed her to say, have you received the book? She said, it's in the office waiting for me, and so boom. She said that basically she can try and get me an interview with the BBC because she's like a journalist or something like that. So, yeah. Man's got a story to tell on it. So, man's trying to get out of here on TV and that. So, yeah. Don't know. Stay wise. Make sure you buy the book. Don't know.